Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor Siege for you today and this one is an excellent one as the elves jump off and cut down the orc defenders and this is a 2v1 with two elven armies against an Isengard army and I am participating in this one as the Wooden Realm over there uh, this one, the siege I did a little while ago with uh, some of the other members of the discord and uh, but it's a really good one but it is a very long one so definitely strap yourselves in Get some snacks and drinks and uh, enjoy this excellent siege that is about to occur. Um, but I will be like doing cuts if there's like there is some like dead bits of the siege, so I will be making some cuts. So I will be shortening it as much as possible, um, but still getting an all sweet sweet uh, action as the uh, Noldorian swords up here cut down the. Uh, Mordor rabble, and I think they're just well, they're gonna make easy work. But I mean, you need to be careful of the crossbows over here. I mean, they've got Isengard crossbows here, we've got uh, Urukai, uh, well, I was gonna say Urukai archers, but there are none. Um, but yeah, it looks like all the orcs are defeated. They now need to get off the walls and start to deal with this flank, uh, well, this like flank this uh, pike unit here. Cause that's a really good one to like take out, but they need to be careful because these Noldorian swords are gonna be very vulnerable to, uh, to arrows. And the other assault that they are making. The Linden forces is over here. They are going to assault across this like well You can see here. There's a load of like traps that you have to be set off But there's it's a trap infested area this but they are going to assault over here and try and take this point This was already destroyed this bit of the uh, wall is a uh, Easy way in if uh, they can break through this force here. I mean this is a good defense though. look at all these Isengard troops in pike formation with their uh, white hand stormers as well and Uruk-hai infantry that's gonna be tough to break through so uh, yeah I am not expecting them to break through that anytime soon um, especially with just cavalry and some shock infantry there but I mean the idea is to pa pincer this force here take all of this out and then assault on this door here uh, really in hindsight I should have assaulted over here it's very weak here and also I mean, it's a lot more easy, like, easy to then cut off everything, like, that's holding over here. I could just cut off it here and stop them from retreating to this final spot over here, which is a really, really nasty spot. I mean, you can see here, this is not like the choke point. No, this is just, like, a nice slope that crossbows can shoot. This is the way in over here. And it's just a one choke point up this long, long slope, and it's going to be nasty. And they have plenty of pikes in reserve just for that sole purpose. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Balance of power is in our favor, but the numbers are not. Uh, so we will have to see what we can do there. But I mean, imagine a lot of those numbers are poor troops from Isengard. Uh, just there, like spam troops almost. But the Wooden Realm is starting to arrive and he's going to hit the walls in a moment. And Isengard is already vacating the walls. He's not even going to fight for them. Which is kind of strange because I would have thought he wanted to do what he's doing over here to Linden. And try and shoot them as much as possible. While holding them on the walls, but I mean we've got some uh, Linden swords here, or, or Noldorian swords. I'm probably going to like interchange between saying Linden swords and Noldorian swords, but they're the same thing, um, and they're fighting some Urukai scouts. So it will be just a whitewash. This will be. I mean it's just, or I should say, a blood, a blood wash, because there'll be so much blood spilt by the uh, Urukai. I mean by the elves on the Urukai here because they are not going to be an easy a fair match but I mean down here looks like some Urukai infantry are actually fighting some Noldorian swords so this is a bit more of an even fight and you can see some swords are starting to drop but if you are enjoying the content at the moment and want to see more Rise of Mordor action do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and leave a comment and don't forget that at 2000 Sub, uh, subscribers, I will be doing a face reveal uh, video. So if you'd like to see the glorious Pope, then uh, <laughs> then then subscribe if you haven't already, and you're gonna see him in all his mighty or all his unmightiness. But uh, was that a head just rolling off? Yeah, that a head just rolled off the wall there. Um, but yeah, here comes the Wooden Realm now. Las Garland Blades now landing. Uh, and coming off the walls instantly, so we don't have to like have this tower issue. Though these fort towers seem to be indestructible. Well, that one was at least. Yeah, this fort tower here is indestructible, so you can't capture this one. <laughs> I wonder if they get destroyed if the the gate gets captured. Po quite possibly, but anyway, 
Um, you can see that the Isengard forces are retreating. And, uh, I mean, they, they've still got some forces here. I mean, they've still got some uh, half hawk axes waiting. But they're trying to get all their archers back, which is a really good idea. They've got pikes as well that they, uh, well, they've got out here. Uh, they might want to try and get them back. But, I mean, they've all they've lost really is rabble. I think they lost, like, one unit of infantry. infantry. Um, so that's not a bad start. And they've routed, well, one unit of Noldorian swords. That's a good, I'd say that's a good um, take from that. I mean, what are they killing here? Some scouts as they run away. Shooting them as they sh run. That's not a bad idea. I mean, there's nothing else to shoot, but I mean, you probably do want to shoot other stuff with your archers later on in the battle, like pikes or berserkers or Urukai infantry. But here we go. So the Las Gallen Blades finally get in some action. Find some half orcs over here. Love the officers, and there's the last Garland flank there. Oh dear, these half orcs are getting not getting out of here, and now they're being uh, shot by the Urukai forces because they know that they're not going to get out. So the Urukai are just going to use this as a perfect magnet for elves. Who's dropped their sword then and is asking for another sword? Oh, the banner carry has been killed. No, someone pick up the banner for Isengard. There you go. I think this uh, half orc has now been destroyed. Yep, yeah, routing. And they're being shot by all these archers back here. I think that was a mistake because I just had them on auto fire. We can see here we're going to try and charge down these uh, crossbows. If we can catch them. I'm desperately trying to get these Urukai scouts. And then I'm going to try and catch the crossbows. But I don't know if I will. I mean, we can, the good thing is with this map is that you can capture the gate from outside here. So, really, it kind of... It should really make force uh, Isengard to hold this side of the gate. But he's decided not to. And, I mean, why would he? Look at how much he's got, like, this side. And, uh, sadly, obviously the elves have no artillery. So it's going to be hard to break through. But it does look like these archers and swords are going to get away. Annoyingly, they're going to get through the gate. And they're like, quickly, they're coming! Close the gate! Close the gate! They're right behind us! <laughs> and then the Zurichs at the back just like, no, wait for us, wait for us! And yeah, they're like, looks like they're about to, yeah, I think the elves are just going to capture the gate and like with this unit and that unit's probably going to get absolutely destroyed because look, they literally, like this bow rabble's going onto the walls and it's going to try and shoot these elves. But uh, yeah, that's kind of like the first bit of, first bit of the battle really. Um, it's just that I, yeah, and now this last garden blade has been shot as it like stands here, but it's going to capture this gate and then we can assault this gate freely when we want. But they are going to have to leave a lot here to keep an eye on it. Especially pikes. I mean, they don't actually have to leave a lot here. They could leave one pike unit here and that's all they have to do. Because the, all the, the elves have no real response. Because archers can't really get over the wall and then de like get their arrows over the wall and then down again to shoot hit these uh, pikes. So it will be interesting to see. And this is a stubborn defense over here as well. So I'm going to make a quick cut. This is probably going to be the first cut of uh, many to come. But uh, yeah, this is kind of where the first bit of dying down goes on and the elves uh, basically re rethink what they're going to do. So I'll see you guys in a moment. So we are back and the cavalry is coming in from the Noldorians for a charge. This is an idea we had. We thought it charge onto the flanks. The pikes don't really affect them then. But uh, it is uh, kind of the case at the moment. Was that This actually is a siege of frustration right now. And it is... Uh, a real, real... I mean, this one's going to fall back. I wasn't even going to attempt it. But yeah, this cavalry basically thought, let's try and charge through the sides here. While they're, they're also being shot currently at these uh, these uh, Urukai here by the uh, Noldorians all the way over there. But uh, yeah, these cavalry thought, let's just charge through the gap here and let's see if we can get either behind or like... I don't know. They just they just thought they could get through. <laughs> it was a worthy try, um, but uh, they didn't get, get many kills. I mean, they've killed a few Urukai... A few white hand stormers, but nothing much. And as you can see here, we've kind of set ourselves back here. We've kind of just out of archer range and tower range, taking a lot of casualties to our archers and towers, just trying to like find a way through. Um, so we're kind of just still really planning what we're going to do at this point. 
And Isengard is just sitting patiently and waiting. And uh, eventually, eventually, we will realize to use these towers that we've left at the back here. Use these towers and, uh, I mean, there's a force here that could use those towers quite nicely. And uh, we'll make an assault around that flank there. That is the plan. Anyway, um, but yeah, I will make another cut quickly. I thought I'd just show you that, but I mean, I might not show you anymore. There are a few more like that. They're just like forays forward, trying to like break through, do something. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a moment once again. So here we go, another assault on this gate, and we're trying to break through. These Las Garland blades are sending in like a full on hope, and here they arrive, and they're like, oh god, look what's on the other side of this gate. And uh, yeah, they are going to be met with. Isengard infantry scouts, pikes, the lot, and now they're going to be forced to retreat. And I mean, they already took a lot of losses on their on their way here, and now they're getting shot in the back as they run. And they have no officer, I've just realized. They're leaderless. No. And yeah, this unit, look at it. It's getting absolutely destroyed. And it's going to quickly try and hide behind this building, I think. But yeah, that unit was at about 100. It was a fairly healthy unit. It's down to 62. Oh. 61, keep running, keep running, you're not safe yet. And there you go, I mean, this is mortal rabble is all it is, and it's doing so much damage. And uh, yeah, look at just the destruction, this is the one unit, I mean, basically, that's just gone up. And just got itself killed. I mean, we just was like, well, we need to see what's on the other side of this wall. Just need to see what's there, and we're like, right, it's, it's pikes, we're just not getting through. And uh, yeah, that unit eventually finished with 58 men left, and I'm now setting up uh, Las Garland Archers to try and shoot onto the walls, shoot these uh, bow rabble. It's already been the case, the uh, Noldorian Archers here have been doing just that. And uh, yeah, we are still persistent that we're going to try and get through this gate. We are going to send our whole army here if needs be. Uh, still no movement on this side either. And no movement yet on the towers, but I mean, it looks like the uh, general is going to come forward with his forces. So I don't know why, we need to really, he needs to really get on the towers soon. But uh, yeah, I'm, I think now, like the next cut you're gonna probably see is the next assault on that other wall uh, by the by the towers here. So I'll see you guys in a moment. And here we go. Finally, the assault on the other wall is finally beginning. And the last Garland blades jumping off to fight the Urukai infantry on the wall. Yeah, it took us a little while, and we had a lot of issues. <laughs> and I'm so glad I can cut this out, uh, like all the mess that we had. Like out, we had like two towers get stuck. One of my units gets stuck on a tower, and we like spent ages trying to get it off. So uh, that's a big loss to start with. We lose an entire unit, for, and it's not even getting a kill, uh, which is a real shame. But yeah, so we're now fighting on the walls. I mean, I mean, we're getting shot as soon as we get off this, uh, as soon as we get onto the wall. And uh, I mean, we're just fighting these Urukai infantry. The uh, shock infantry from uh, Linden is a little bit slow in arriving. I'm now setting up my, uh, this is my force I've got around here, I've got all my hall gardens, I've got more last garland blades, I've got archers around here, and we're going to try and really punch a hole through here. I've still got a sizable force over here, ready and waiting, as does Linden, and I've also sent troops all the way around here to go and help Linden out as well. But now from about, yeah, from now on it's pretty much continuous fighting, so uh, at some point there's sporadic fighting going on everywhere, so you can enjoy some glorious Rise of Mordor action. And not have to just worry about like constant cuts. And I do apologize for it, but this is a pretty long and grindy siege. But I mean, yeah, this is a. Uh, we've got to try and get another unit onto the wall. I think the plan is to try and get another unit onto the wall and then fort. Because, like, we've taken the breach head, and now we can then just force away along the wall and attack these uh, scouts eventually. That should be our plan. So we need to get more numbers on this wall because those Zurichai infantry with support of their uh, archers will probably beat Las, probably beat Las Garland blades. I mean, I'm now setting in my uh, arrows as well, trying to shoot them. But it's a bit of an awkward angle. And any uh, and the plan is now that any archers that get close, like like these uh, crossbows here, are just going to get absolutely destroyed by uh, my uh, archers, my Las Garland archers. And uh, yeah, I mean that's. Just get, you can see like the archers as they just like the crossbows they get knocked back and like some drop down. It's good, but I mean yeah, they're gonna slowly like get whittled down. And the idea is just, I just don't want them to have many archers for that final defense, which is eventually gonna happen. And uh, this is another cap point. This helps with like massively with morale, so we definitely want to try and take that out as well. And I didn't even realize they have some sappers here. I wonder if they can use them. Be interesting to see. 
It will be interesting to see. But I mean, yeah, my last Garland Blades are already losing on this wall. This is not a good sign. We need them to start winning. I mean, it's the second wall here with the second wall towers. is not helping. But yeah, I don't know what like Isengard's doing in this Gondorian settlement. <laughs> it's like a very, it's a, uh, this is a sub mod for Rise of Mordor. It adds like all the, like, it adds other maps, like new maps. I can't really actually, actually remember the name of it, but I'll imagine I'll put the, like the link in the description if you want to go and check it out. Um, and obviously the name will be there. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave a link to it. It's in the uh, Steam Workshop and it has like loads more maps and it's a really good, uh, fun thing to add because eventually like, Rise of Mordor, you do need to try out some, like, new maps, because they don't have, like, many on here, and it gets a bit savvy otherwise. So adding, like, these uh, this sub-mod really, really helps, like, give it this mod even more life. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know really what the plan is now. I don't know what these Zerlazgar uh, and Blades are doing. I think I was trying to get them onto the wall, but they just didn't want to, like, I don't know, play ball, put it like that. But um, yeah, it looks like the crossbows here have been either routed or they've uh, just retreated after so many losses. And I'm just waiting, really. And finally, this has gone back to even. I'm so glad because, uh, well, we're taking a far too many losses. You can see here, we're getting forced back from our uh, drawbridge here. I mean, this unit, I mean, if I set up another unit, then that can engage the Urukai. And then this one can go and fight the uh, scouts over here, which is hardly any of. And I'm trying to shoot any archers that cl get close so I can just carry on fighting on the walls without any uh, ba any disturbance, really. I don't really want archer support from their, from their side helping influence the battle on the walls. So I need every man I can get for the fight when we get off the walls. I just can't really have men dying, or elves dying, I should say, as they are uh, on the walls from arrows. But yeah, Linden's now joined the fight on the walls. I mean, they should have an easier time. These shock infantry are nasty, but they are very susceptible to arrows. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, certainly the uh, crossbows and the uh, archers of Isengard will be able to get up some, get some good kills here. I mean, so Linda needs to be really quick and get, I don't know, a lot of kills really quickly. Get these uh, Isengard infantry off the walls so he can then get off the walls himself. And then... Um, be away from Archify. I mean, even though, even if he gets off Archify, though, he's like, he's still got like Urukai. I don't know, these are Mordor Rabble. But I mean, even still, you can, yeah, you'll still be able to like get shot by like archers. Crossbows, not necessarily, but archers certainly. And there's still plenty of units on this wall. It's half or axes. Yeah, I mean, look at this. These Noldorian swords here are losing to Urukai infantry. I'm not even sure how. I think it's because of this tower. They should really have just gone off the tower here. Like, these uh, Urukai infantry didn't even bother to engage them. And that is, uh, I think that's what I'm gonna, oh yeah, they're actually, no, they're getting shot from here, oh my god, this is a really good angle. Wow, these crossbows here, this is really nicely done by the uh, Isengard player. Just shooting down into the back of these uh, Noldorian swords here. And this is why they're losing, I mean, the Uruk-hai infantry as well, just not even engaging really. But I mean, what a nice angle that is. And uh, yeah, this just keep is just gonna be a nasty nut to crack. When we get there, but yeah, finally I sent up a second unit of Last Garden Blades to try and overwhelm this, and also to force one of my uh, units to go and attack these scouts. Just give myself another front, and uh, yeah, these Urukai archers are back, and I'm not going to allow it. As soon as I was like, right, they're back, let's send my archers back. I'm going to go and start killing them, and I'm pretty sure I got these uh, Last Garden archers over here as well to help with the fight against the Mordor bow rabble, and I tell Linden to send up his archers as well. On the other side, uh, yeah, absolutely nothing's still happening. Still, this is just a massive stalemate, and this uh, this map kind of is. This is why I realized that, in hindsight, I really should have attacked here. This is so much better, like, an area to attack. Um, but I just did not like this gate here. This gate just looked like death. Because, obviously, you don't want to send anything through here, because then you can get shot on either side. So I was like, well, I'll have to attack both sides of the wall, and there's a lot of towers, and there's, there's a second wall of towers, a, a second uh, line of walls, sorry. Which is never fun to fight on. If you've ever fought on uh, the map of Umbar, or you've watched the replays of Umbar, defenders, when they utilize that second wall, are very, very, uh, well, 
They do well, put it like that. They are very deadly. They uh, get a lot of kills, like with archers. You just hold with a weak unit on the first wall, and then archers on the second. I mean, they don't even need to do that currently. Like, this just is getting... Like, this unit here is getting decimated, these Noldorian swords are, and it's so bloodied up. And now I'm setting up Hall Guardians. I'm right, right, we're going to get the job done. Hall Guardians coming in. But, I mean, even they're going to have a, a hard time, I think. They're going to go in and fight these half orcs here. But uh, we, we'll see. I mean, yeah, you can see here these Noldorian swords got, like, evaporated. Uh, not really by the Urukai infantry either. It's because of these crossbows up here, which I just did not realize were firing down onto them. But we're going to send He's sending up some uh, shipwright nobles now. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can win. I mean, balance power, it, they still have about a thousand men more like they did at the beginning of the battle. So, I mean, not really changed much there. I'm now shooting these uh, archers as much as possible. I mean, they're, yeah, and you can see here, I'm now getting these last Gallon Blades, 48 of them, off att attacking 94 Urukai Scouts. I would say that the uh, last Gallon Blades should probably win that. They're, they are very tired. But yeah, I'm just literally, I just don't want this, uh, any of these arch units just shooting onto the back of my, uh, my guys. I'm just trying to route them as quickly as possible, get them off the, off the, uh, battlefield. And then we move on. I mean, what's this unit routing over here? Half Orcs, okay. I know, yeah, at this point we see the cavalry, the cavalry's making another move because they actually fell back their pikes. I think they're going to use them somewhere else. Uh, so we make a mass assault. So I was sending up some last garland blades, got some cavalry getting up, and we're just going to charge through and make an assault. But uh, we, basically, we should not have done this so early because it's just allowed Isengard to get the pikes back just in time. We were too eager to uh, move up. We should have allowed him, waited until he got at least to like here. Or, well, certainly out of sight for us, and then we should have attacked. But, yeah, so we have to fall back uh, while we get shot by crossbows and uh, archers again. So it's a lot of, like, cat and mouse at the moment on that side. It's just waiting for, like, the right moment. And really, it's going to have to rely on this side. We've got to break through, break through this choke point here. And then the this side's threatened. The and this, these forces here will have to fall back. And then we can assault and chase. And the same at this one here. It's, so it is really coming down to this wall, and that's why I should have assault, assaulted this wall earlier. Uh, really would have unlocked it, and it's costing a lot of elven lives that I didn't do it. But it may have cost a lot of elven lives anyway. And uh, yeah, we've got Hall Guardians now that are uh, chasing down uh, these half-orc troops. I think they've just killed them all, and now it's going to be Urukai infantry. And what's this? Berserkers going up? Oh no. Yeah, these Berserkers, if I remember rightly, they have a lot of fun on this wall. They have a lot of fun on this wall. But yeah, so I mean, these are, these Hall Guardians, I mean, they're already so bloodied up, I think, from arrows again. It's just a, a constant issue. It is mortal rabble. They're probably not getting many kills. They're doing a lot of HP damage, like just firing their arrows in the general direction. And also the towers as well. They're not helping. We're still trying to take them. I mean, the Berserkers are actually losing. They are actually losing decisively. Are they setting up more Berserkers? No, these are Half-Orcs getting set up. Okay. I mean, the Shipwright Nobles, look at this. These Shipwright Nobles are losing. They are, like, losing to Urukai Infantry here. I think it's because these guys are firing again. Yep. Literally, I should have realized that this was an issue and just told Linden to stop attacking here. I mean, really, I was saying to Linden, Linden, send up a unit, get it off the... Um, Really, I think I should have said, Glennon, get a unit, get on the walls here, and get off the, like, the fort tower here, and you, you're in. And he can carry on fighting on the walls here if he wants, but we're then in. That's the main thing. We need to get off the walls, really, and that's just kind of what I'm trying over here, but I'm still struggling to break through. And my archers are using so much of their ammo up just trying to shoot stuff here. I think at this point I start to debate sending more of my archers around this way, because, well, I just need them. I need them here. There's so much stuff to shoot. There's archers to shoot, there's pikes to shoot, there's more berserkers to shoot. I think they're like, they got more half orcs back here. Yeah, no, these are all berserkers. Gotta shoot all of them. There's far too much to shoot, even for the elves. Far too much to shoot. But yeah, I mean, these uh, scouts are starting to break. We've now got half orcs up here. I mean, but we've replenished the amount of 
elves up here. And at this point, it is starting to get, like, pretty serious for the... Um, for the Isengard archers, they're realizing that we're losing far too many troops, like, shooting here. I mean, this one has special. Look at this. It's getting absolutely evaporated as this Urukai crossbow unit. Jeez. One of our units can no longer fire. And yeah, I mean, they use all of their ammo. I, you just heard there. They've expended so much ammo into this unit just to try and route it. I mean, like, how much damage have they done? They killed over 80 of these guys, and the arrows just keep falling. They just don't stop. And this, yeah, this Urukai crossbow is can barely get off a volley of its own. It's just, they constantly are dropping. And yeah, it's all of these, look at this, all of these Noldorian archers and uh, Lasgalan archers here just focusing it down. And we were just like, right, if we can kill all of these archers, it should be easier. We should win it in a grind. Like, the elves are really good in combat. Apart from pikes, that's all we can, we can't fight pikes. So we need to leave ammo for pikes. And uh, I mean, we have plenty of ammo over here. We have all of these archers here ready and waiting. And we have some archers over here as well with, actually no, these guys have used all, used all their ammo, wow. Um, but yeah, we've got plenty of ammo still uh, here. We've still got at least six units of ammo left. I mean, they've still got crossbows as well. Granted. Uh, I don't know what, exactly what they're firing at. They're firing at something, but I'm not sure what. Are they trying to hit this sword unit here? I don't know. It says they're firing, but I can't see any, any of them doing any animations. But yeah, I mean, that crossbow unit is under 44 men uh, that we were looking at earlier. And there you go. The shipwright nobles finally got off the wall. And uh, they are now going to probably, I don't know, either go for the archers. They can either go for archers. They can flank around and get these pikes. Um, there's lots and lots of options they can try now. And look at this. They're going to try and get chased down by some Urukai infantry. Uh, I'm setting up some last garland blades of my own. We're going to try and carry on the fight here. I don't know exactly what these uh, crossbows are doing now. They're not really... I think they're trying to fire, but they can't. Or I'm not sure. Yeah, they can't really see the see. They can't see the shipwright nobles anymore. Oh my god, that tower, that tower falling has probably done a lot of damage to the shipwright nobles. It's done a lot of damage to those Urukai infantry. Yeah, oh yeah, there's at least, I'd say, a good 10 dead shipwright nobles down there. But they must persist. They must go on. They need to really push on. They... The orders now for the uh, for the archers really should be shoot those pikes. I presume that will be the orders given in a moment. Um, I don't know. But yeah, we're finally going to break through over here as well. You can see, I think this is a half-orc unit. Yeah, it's retreating off the wall. It's going to just fall back uh, to this next line of defense. Isengard, basically, as soon as he saw one area, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, maybe they are still able to fire those crossbows. They literally got such a good volley there. That unit was at least at 60, and it's now down to 30. Jeez. Okay, maybe they are still firing quite effectively. But yeah, Isengard, as soon as he saw one hole in his defense, was instantly on the retreat. And I mean, that's a very good tactic, uh, but eventually you will have to stop retreating. You will have to hold somewhere. And I think this is going to be next area to hold. It's one choke point. I mean, he's quite happy with these areas here. One choke point, one choke point, one choke point. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really easy. This is why we should have probably brought someone other than the elves. Uh... Because then we could make holes in the wall, like here, for instance. Make a hole in the wall, breach through. So, like, certainly we suggested we should, one of us should have come as, like, the dwarves. That would have been really good. Could make a hole in the wall with some artery and then gone through. And uh, with either elves or with dwarves and, uh, like, undo these defenses, like here. This is basically the idea that we were thinking. And also, actually, no, because uh, dwarves don't have pikes in this. If you had the sub mod, then dwarves could at least go against Isengard with pikes. But uh, they, they can't. I can't wait till the sub mod does get updated so we can reuse like some of the units and some of the factions. Certainly, I miss the dwarven pikes. I know it makes them very powerful, but it's nice having them. Especially when you're watching like uh, the Battle of the Five Armies, you see all the long spears of the dwarves, and you just think, ah, yeah, you could see why they have uh, all. They, they should have pikes, really. Um, you, I've got Hall Guardians just here. This is kind of a mistake by me. I really shouldn't have put these uh, Hall Guardians just stud here. Uh, my archers are actually fighting and losing on the wall here against uh, Urukai Infantry. I was kind of surprised at this one. Lasgalan Archers is probably a fresh Lasgalan Archer going up against the weak Urukai Infantry. I expected the uh, Urukai Infantry to just kind of keel over and die. But yeah, I mean, my Hall Guardians now are just getting focused down, really. And uh, the plan was, at least for me, I was going to try and sneak around in a moment. You're going to see I'm going to try and sneak around this gap here and try and get around the pikes. And I think I'm going to try on the other side as well, but the other side, there's not much of a gap. Uh, but yeah, really now it's again, we're kind of just waiting 
on... I don't know what we're waiting on, really. May, these archers, I think, to arrive so we can carry on the bombardment. But there's still a little bit of fighting going on the walls, so we'll keep an eye on this. Watch the last garland. Archers and blades fight it out. But yeah, I have a lot of archers now which are going to become melee units. And the archers aren't that bad in melee in, uh, for the Woodland Realm, so this isn't that major a uh, loss. They're now just good in... well, not as good infantry units. But I'm just quite impressed with this Urukai infantry's held for so long. I'm so glad that I did flank around, and there you go, we're now in. I've got my archers, like, here, I'm going to fire a point blank range at these pikes. And I'm just going to see what happens. <laughs> I mean, there's literally nothing else I can do with them. I mean, again, this is why we should have brought a uh, catapult, because then we could knock down a hole here. And these archers either get killed, and we can get after the, them with artillery, or, uh, well... Yeah, again, I guess it just, if we put an artillery piece there, it may kill the archers. But, I mean, this is a very good Isengard defender. He knew when he was being attacked. And here you go, you can see I'm going to try and sneak through this gap. I'm going to force my way through. But, uh, Isengard's seen, he's got some half orcs ready. And my last garland blades are, uh, kind of stuck in a, in a, between a rock and a hard spot now. And, uh, they're probably going to get forced back. But they're going to take some half orcs with them. Take as many of these goddamn hybrids as possible, half orc bastards. But this was also, yeah, this was with members of the Discord. So uh, if you'd like to join the Discord server for uh, my channel, it's called the Papal Legion, then uh, please do. The link is in the description. And uh, we always need, always need more players for battles and scenarios. Uh, it's always great to have more people there and uh, meet more people that enjoy Total War. Simple as. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're just, we're gonna lose here. We need to fall back really with these last Garland Blades. I kind of a little bit too persistent. I've now got archers here. They're now gonna shoot uh, like over the wall and hit these, uh, these pikes. I mean, apparently this was a better uh, angle to do it at than do it like head on. So I was like, fair enough, I'll do it. But uh, yeah, these last Garland Blades here really need to fall back. I'm being a bit too persistent here. I should really just know that I've, be I've been beaten. But uh, no, we're just going to carry on fighting. And yeah, now my archers are finally being supported over here. And these uh, Urukai, uh, not these Urukai, these Berserkers here are actually doing okay. They might route these last Garland Blades as they go back into combat. I mean, it also doesn't help that they're constantly getting sniped by towers. But yeah, we've still got fighting going on over here. We've got like the United Front now of archers fighting this Urukai infantry. Got Linden and Woodland Realm side by side fighting it out. Their archers trying to just take on these uh, Urukai infantry. These Urukai infantry are just like, how dare they just send their archers at us? We want to see the best of the best. We want to see the Hall Guardians, the Shipwright Nobles. But no, they're just getting mere archers sent to them. I mean, they're going to keep killing those mere archers as well. And we're actually sending in more stuff. We're sending in depleted Shipwright Nobles. We're sending in. I don't know why we were doing this. We're just like, right, we're going to try and break through this pike line. We've got to do something. We are just getting, It was kind of getting a little bit desperate, I think, at this point. We were all just like, oh, we're not going to break through. But we have got the numbers. Just only 600 difference now. It, used, it was 1,000 difference earlier. Um, but it is now down to 600. I mean, this wall attack here was really, really good. For, really uh, got a lot of kills. A lot of them being archers. So we did expend a lot of ammo there, and you can see, uh, I was going to say, I thought there was some movement over here. I thought more units were, like, moving to this side, but I mean, I don't think they were. And at this point, I'm just looking, actually. I obviously can't see most of Isengard's army uh, when playing, but Isengard did not have much left in the sense of uh, infantry, like, available infantry on this side. So if we had opened a breach, it could have been devastating. But uh, yeah, we are only left with the option of trying to break through this spot here. And uh, I don't really know what else we can do. But uh, I'm probably going to do a little cut, uh, possibly. I don't know. Looks like we're bringing up Las Galan archers here. We might be able to do something else. You can see, literally, this is like where all the archers got positioned. Like, right, you come here and you shoot over the walls. And then uh, after that, we're going to try something else. But yeah, I think the idea was for me to try and get these Las Galan archers up onto the wall. And uh, I was going to then try and go from the wall and then shoot onto 
uh, the Zurichai infantry like from the wall. Which I mean that could definitely work. I mean I just need to we just need to kill the Zurichai infantry here, I think, and then that works. And then I can get onto the wall that side as well. But it doesn't mean I have to go past all the towers and stuff like that. And it just risks myself to a mortal bow rabble. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. But I thought this was a better angle. You can then fire from the top of the wall down onto the uh, pikes. Might do a lot better than just being on, uh, being behind the wall and you're firing indirectly. But we'll see. Just need to be careful when capturing these towers. Actually, we already, apparently we already hold this tower. Looks like we hold this tower, but we don't actually because, I don't know. Don't know what has happened there. But yeah, my archers actually did get broken. And there you go, you can see this small berserker unit over here is actually causing so much havoc. They had so much fun on the walls, they just kept, they just kept on coming. And like this, look at this, this poor London Arch has now taken on five berserkers on his own. He's got no chance. There he goes, he's already, I mean I don't know if he's dead. He's been knocked down. Someone stab him in the back and there you go, I'm setting up some Woodland Realm Arch as a depleted unit. And we're going to try and deal with these uh, berserkers, just counterflank them. Just keep hacking away at the men. Hack away. But yeah, I think at this point, uh, I decide that, yeah, look, I'm trying to capture this with the uh, archers, and then I decide, right, well, we shouldn't we should just get onto the walls, really. I don't know. I think at this point, I'm just, yeah, I capture that, and I just decide then, well, I can't do anything else. I've captured that now. I can't get onto the walls. I've captured that one. Can't get onto the walls. So, uh, I'm just... I'm kind of stuck. I've got to go back outside. It's just such an issue. It's so much backwards and forwards. And you can see there, that choke point, we finally got pushed back and killed. So many Las Galan Blades killed for no real reason. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit frustrating. I don't know if I could have got onto this tower, possibly, and then gone across here and up. I don't think so, though, because I don't know if you can go under that. I'm not sure. I might have been able to. I don't know. But, uh, and there's the same on that side. I could have possibly landed on the wall and then walked across. But, I don't know. Maybe in hindsight I could have. But I'm going to make a quick cut for, like, when the next assault begins. Uh, so I don't think that's too far in the future. So it should only be a short one. So I'll see you guys in a moment once again. And here we go. The assault is about to begin. We've got Hall Guardians coming through. We've got Last Garland Blades. We've got Archers with no ammo. Uh, basically what all you missed was the... Uh, so arch, my Archers with ammo... Decided, right, let's just focus on the pikes. And the pikes decided, right, we're going to hide. So there's no pikes here in this choke point. So the elves should really win in this fight, in this, between scouts and infantry. There's hall guardians in here. I'm going to just throw everything in here. And basically, my archer is going to carry on firing onto these pikes. If they ever come into, like, combat, they're getting, sh like, shot straight away. And already, look at that. The scout's already breaking. It's just then going to come down to these... Infantry, I mean they should hold for a while, but it's a very long line they're trying to hold and we're just concentrating so many troops in it It's gonna be a big big blob and there you go these more scout skins sent in And here we go the grind begins the big choke point battle begins And this is it I was like right this is our make or break Attack if we lose this I've lost so many infantry in trying to get like through here and I've now got my elven king in here He's gonna charge in I'm just forcing my way through. Um, really, I wanted him to go for like this tiny bit here. And I think it's what I'm going to try in a moment. And you can see more half orcs come up. They see what's coming. My archers are like, right, the pikes are coming. Fire. And I don't know why they got so close. But uh, yeah, we need to like tell the archers open fire on the pikes. We cannot let them set up without costing them a lot of lives. And there you go. You can see the arrows fly flying across now. And the pikes are coming. But uh, I don't care. I'm gonna gonna try a charge in a moment. I think with the uh, Elven King, and we're gonna try and break through. There we go. The glorious sun shining on the battlefield, and the Urks are battling hard. I mean, you can see. Look how thick this line is. It's just insane. So much stuff in here. And I mean, this is perfect target now for archers. I mean, I think we're focusing down currently, uh, focusing down our half orcs. But the pikes are coming. We should really be focusing them, then, them down soon because they're going to start to influence the battle again. And there you go, the half orcs retreat. 
Uh, we've got Berserkers here. They might want to get shot at as well. I was just desperately like, alright, any ammo, just fire it. Just constantly fire it. And here we go. I think I'm going to send a Hall Guardian. You can see it's in column formation. You can see my purpose. We've got a column formation. I'm going to try and punch through this tiny, thin line here. It's only held by a few pikes and a few infantry. So I was like, right, we can easily get through that. And there we go. I mean, that's not really what I intended. But uh, hopefully they can break through. It's more, it's more men in the choke point. Put it like that. We just need some people to be like Aragorn in like Helm's Deep and just like knock the pikes aside and just charge on in. Like they were never there. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that's going to... I don't think we're going to ha have that effect. I think we're going to be in a long grindy battle here for a while. But yeah, I mean, as this has been happening, on the other side, you can see archers up here for some random reason. I think they tried another assault. Oh, yeah, they did. Look at this. An assault was tried by Linda. This is awful to look at. There's just the sheer amount of dead elves here. God. Yeah, they just ran onto the pikes almost and got themselves killed. That is not good, yeah. And basically, all of Linden's forces here are dead. I think this is also spears. Spears and pikes. Uh, spears and archers down here. Still got some shock. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly less Gala and uh, Blades there now. So that was a real, real shame. We should could have done with those units a lot, like, for later. Urukai Infantry here. Still holding the line. They're losing decisively, though. It's just got the pikes. They're just holding them back. This is going to be such an annoying attack. And really, I think I'm going to try and get these last Gala and Blades to try and sneak around. I really need to. There is a gap. Could force a way through. But the bodies are starting to pile up. And we're getting forced back now. The pikes are here. We had a chance. That, but I don't know what our archers are doing. They really need to shoot down anything here. Just break it. Because the pikes are so bloodied up now. They are really bloodied up. Like, their armor is gone. God, I love this mod. It's so beautiful. I can't wait till the next update. Exciting stuff to come, hopefully. Yeah, we've got archers firing here. I think they're trying to shoot. I think I'm trying to shoot these half orcs here. Try and get around. But, I mean, really, I shouldn't be going for that. I should be hitting these pikes. Now they're in combat. I mean, what we've got here, we've got Wyand Stormers, Wyand Stormers, more pikes. Looks like we're falling back. Yeah, they've got only swords at this choke point now. We should really make an assault. I think we've realized, and I'm sending for tiny, the tiny unit of the last Garland Blades, go and have a look. And it might be the time for the, uh, for the assault. Yeah, Isengard's falling back stuff on every front. I think he's thinking, well, I don't think I can hold here much longer. I mean, these pikes are still healthy. And yeah, here we go. The archers are going to finally start firing here again. Really need to. They should probably be firing from, like, back there, like they were before. No, they're going to fire at all these Wyand Storms all the way back there. It's not a bad target either, but they've got really good uh, shields. So, I mean, they'll, they'll hold for a while. And there you go. The last Garland Blades are finally attacking in here as well. Now, these, this is a bloody unit, though. This will not do the work that's needed to hold back, uh, to push back these uh, Urukai infantry. And I mean, Linden could do... I mean, he's got his cavalry ready to, like, break through. I mean, and that was kind of the issue. I should have attacked, really, here when the pikes withdrew. We should, we're going to bring in the uh, the sword, the uh, cavalry first, run down the swords, push through, and then go for, uh, like, the reserves over here. It was kind of my mistake. I was a little bit too eager. I saw the chance. I was, like, I was getting so frustrated at these pikes all battles. So I was like, right... Now is the time. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my payback on every single Uruk in this city. I mean the ha the Hall Gardens are doing some work though. We are gonna. I mean I say we're gonna break through. I'm not really sure. There just seems to be endless troops. They're falling back reserves from other areas because they don't really need them. And there you go. They've been forced back. And now, really, we need to charge after them. These cavalry here needs to chase down every single pikeman. 
These swords need to get in charge as well. That is, it is the time. The time has come. They might have fallen back from these, this choke point as well if we'd uh, been a little bit more patient. But well, we are engaging this Orokai infantry and we should cut it down eventually. Uh, the pikes are starting to lose. That's really good. We need that. I mean, but my uh, hall gardens are also losing. I mean, we're shooting these uh, half orcs as they retreat. I'm not giving them, like, the chance to retreat and fall back to another choke point. But you can see, look how many troops are going to get out. They are going to get so many troops out still. And, uh, well, the cavalry here needs to really hurry up. Needs to hurry up soon. Get a move on. I don't know if we hadn't realized at this point or what. Yeah, there you go. We, the units are starting to move. Last Garland Blades on the move. And yeah, I mean, these uh, Urukai crossbows, they're going to get back plenty of ammo still on their, uh, in them. And I mean, they've got like, at least one as well over here with ammo. They've got, I mean, they've got no mortal rabble out. They've got more mortal rabble here with arrows. More crossbows. They've got a lot of crossbows. So even after all the, like, shots I've fired so far, they've still got plenty of ammo. I mean, so have I. I've got Lords of Last Garland over here with plenty of ammo, and they'll do just fine. Yeah, we are finally in. I've, like, got a unit behind. There's a big gap here in the line. So I was like, right, Lords of Last Garland, you're joining the fight. Not Lord... Are these... Uh, no, they're not Lords of Last Garland. They're just Last Garland Blades. I do apologize. But yeah, they're now in behind. These pikes are surrounded. And finally, we're going to take this choke point for ourselves. But so much elven blood has been spilt this day. And yeah, there you go. The pikes break. It's now just under this Urukai scout. But really, we need to fall back, cat. Oh, uh, not fall back. Catch these uh, falling back Isengard troops. So certainly the Wyan Stormers want to catch them. We've got cavalry over here. Needs to really get in and attack. Um, the towers there falling, breaking. Need to really move up still. Catch as many of these units as possible. Um, I'm pretty sure I sent in the Elven King now, and look at this, all the cavalry is mobilizing, we're going to try and catch every single one of these units. We might catch the Stormers, we might catch this Infantry, we should catch this Pike Unit, which will be a big, big win. We'll only leave them with uh, three Pike Units, and we still have ammo. So it's going to be close, but I mean, they have still plenty of normal Infantry which can protect their Pikes, so they can just re redo what they've done in other areas. Defend with, like, Wyand Stormers and Pikes, and it'll be pretty impossible to break through. I mean, they've got, like... Yeah, they got white hand storm storms for a general as well, so. They got some elite units left. It's gonna be hard. Balance of power, it's about 500 man difference. It's uh it's still close, but we're gonna get a lot of kills here. We're gonna certainly close off a lot of them. I'm gonna try and get the Elven King past. He's gonna try and go after the Zurukai infantry. While my infantry goes after this crossbow unit. We should catch this one. This is a big win here. Get this one. But uh, yeah, my Elven King here, he should should catch oh what am i going after actually i'm not going after the infantry i'm going after the pikes i'm actually gonna let this infantry go by wow yeah that's a big surprise i was well actually my infantry is like getting quite deep into their forces so i should catch that one ah yeah i was leaving it for the uh, cavalry here that was what uh yeah they put down their pikes at the right moment so i was like right elven king you need to be careful here but they haven't actually got their pikes down now and they're just gonna march by yeah, they're just marching by at the moment. I should really have gone for that infantry, catch it out. Because they've, they've carried on. Yeah, and there you go. The pikes here, they've just char uh, got charged. That's a real, real loss for uh, Isengard there. And I mean, we've got these archers here. They've got cavalry here that's going to try and chase them. I've got uh, swords over here that's going to try and flank around, get all this stuff. But uh, it's going to be close. This cavalry here should get this Urukai infantry. Should get a nice rear charge. Rear charge. Oh, that's brutal. That is a brutal charge. Yeah, those equestrians did a good, good job there. How many kills did they get? Quite a lot. Jeez. Can we have another charge, possibly? I don't know. I mean, we're gonna get a, they're going to get a rear charge on the Urukai pikes, but we really should send up more. We should have carried on. Should have carried on. Like, these units here were for the taking. He's not set up properly. This pike line's not ready. You could certainly flank around. Oh, no, this is... Yeah, you actually, yeah, you could flank around. We should have carried on. We should have persisted. We were so intent on getting this uh, pike, you know, which we didn't really need to go after. We should have just carried on over here. Like, all this cavalry here should just carry on. 
and just capture them all. But yeah, here we go. I'm gonna capture this. Uh, well, capture. I'm gonna catch this uh, light, this uh, this tiny unit of uh, Urukai infantry there with my last Garland blades. It's equally just as small. But uh, he's gonna get his crossbows back, which is a. I thought we were gonna get this one. Uh, no, we got a different one, didn't we? We got one over there, but we should have got this one as well. That's it. Got a lot of ammo. And then you have hardly any ammo left. And I say that just as I see two more units. Um, but yes, yeah, so they're going to try and hold this choke point now. This is their new defense. I mean, we can flank around here, though. We need to be, we need to really get, like, flanking here. Do a lot of work here. Like, the cavalry here should just go around. We can flank this. My general should have really done the same, possibly. We could have then got in behind and took out a lot of their army. Yeah, I did not even realize. I don't think I was realizing. I think I was just like, right, let's just try and capture them as catch as many as possible. I was more intent on getting my Lords of Last Galan over here. I was going to shoot into their flank. Really, I should have just realized that this was a viable flanking spot. But yeah, so I mean, now we're kind of just waiting. I think uh, Isengard's quite happy to hold here. He's got his Wyand Stormers here. He's got pikes, not even pike formation. That's it. We should have even kept an eye on that. Like, if we could get the archers in behind, like, the cavalry in behind here, they would have caused havoc on all of these units here. Maybe not the shock infantry, but certainly with all these archers here, that would have been havoc. And, uh, yeah. I mean, here we go. Here comes the, uh, cavalry. They're gonna charge up. Don't know what for. They need to get around here, really. Oh, I'm so frustrated that I did not see that, but, uh... Yeah, they're gonna charge head-on into this... head-on into this defense. Uh, I don't know if that's a really good idea. But yeah, I'm now shooting into the side, trying to shoot these Urukai Pikes. I mean, I'm going to take a lot of losses because I'm getting a shot as well by the crossbows over here. They're like, right, there's, uh, there's elves across the, uh, there's elves across the river. Shoot them. And yeah, these Lords of Last Garland are uh, pretty bloodied up, and it's annoying because they're a really good unit in combat. Well, these are Last Garland archers actually. They're not even, they're not very good in combat. But yeah, now look at this. They're retreating again. So the cavalry needs to really mobilize. It needs to get as many of these swords as possible and many of these archers as possible. It's just... I need, really need to get my infantry out of the way. Slow their cat. It's going to slow this cav down. Yeah, here he comes. And he's going to send in some uh, tiny little uh, unit of mortal rabble kind. Slow them down. Oh, look at that. He's going to turn around. He's going to defend this here. Still... Uh, yeah, he's still... We can't flank here now. Which is a real, real loss, and this is going to be the new defense. And it's coming to the final sort of like 20 minutes of the battle. And I hope you guys, if you got this far, then well done to you, sirs. But um, yeah, it's been a grindy one. It has been a grindy one. I did say you all need your snacks and drinks. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at those crossbows just stuck on the wall here. Poor them. They just got to watch there as the fight goes on. And it's really like we're really relying on Cav now just to try and break through. Which is not a good idea. I mean, we could definitely break through over here. This is definitely a viable spot. Breakthrough there. We're going to capture this. Get the uh, get the morale buff. And then really, we should yeah, we should try and break through here. And then push on. And just try and get into behind. If we can get this large force. Destroy that. Then it just leaves these pikes here at this final spot. Which is going to be an issue. But we've still got ammo. Uh, minimal. But we still have ammo. I think I... No, I don't know where. Oh, no. I still have ammo all the way back here as well. We still have like, all of these forces here that are yet to move up. So we're going to need this ammo. This is all Lords of Last Garland as well. So, yeah. We really are going to need that ammo to uh, break through this final defense. But it's he's only he's not got enough pikes really to hold this like huge line. He should really fall further up this hill. I know it's cheesy, but uh, that's definitely the best way to win. But, yeah, this defense is... Uh, Imposing, we'll go with that. Imposing as hell. And they're still confident. Isengard be, can be fully confident that he's got a good chance here. I think he still has the numbers. No, he doesn't actually have the numbers now. Balance power in his favor. Uh, but he's got a really good spot to defend. And there's nothing we can do against pikes. So I'm going to just fast forward, I think, for a little bit. Just until we make our next assault. Because I think we're waiting on these archers all the way at the back of the map here. And uh, you can see here, we've got like a unit still stuck in this tower. So sad. I was just like, oh no, this Blades unit could use it so badly to get in and uh, do some work. Because I don't think I've got a single fresh infantry unit now. I don't think I've got... Yeah, all these units are so beaten up. This like unit over here for the Isengard forces, 
Held forever. It took so many men down with it. But Linden's still got quite a lot of fresh units, so it's kind of down to Linden a bit. I mean, I've got one, like, one Last Garland Blade that's fresh. I've, and literally untouched. But, uh, yeah, the rest are still looking a little bit iffy. I mean, right now we're focusing fire on these pikes, and it's probably doing no damage. We really need to, uh, just charge onto the flanks there. But, uh, yeah. I think it's just still waiting on those archers, and I mean... Look at this. This is the next line of defense. If we break through that first one, this is what's next. Good God. I am not looking forward to this. This is just insane. It's just like, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. Alexander of Macedon would be happy with this. Alexander the Great, he'd love this. Just pike line after pike line after pike line. And look, he's falling back again. We missed our chance to really charge them. We should have charged them on this flank here. I don't know if I even suggested it, but uh, yeah. Now the cavalry's going to try and shine try and catch them, but I don't think it's going to happen. And yeah, this is the new defense. It's just... Even still, there's still a way around. There's still a little bit of a flank. Uh, could still be done. Men have given up and are running for their lives. And I mean, yeah, here we go. It looks like the final units, the Lords of Last Garland, are coming up, and we're going to see what happens here. Urukai crossbows getting ready as well. I mean, it's just the final stand. It's just all we're waiting for, really. This final last clash. And here we go. They're going to open fire now onto the cross, uh, onto the cross. There's some little pikes down here, and uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know why we can continue with this uh, idea, but I mean, there's just nothing else we can do. We've got to just shoot here. Really, we should have tried to get through around this gap here, but uh, we're going to carry on shooting, and we're going to just see what happens. And this is going to be a brutal, brutal uh, attack when we have to do it, because I mean. These pikes aren't dropping quickly enough. There's only... We've killed six, seven, eight... Yeah, not many. They're dropping, but not quickly enough. These white hand stormers are just so frustrating with their huge shields. They just block arrows so effectively. And we can't get their general either, who's back here. I mean, he'd be nice to shoot, kill him. Cause this as a chain route, but he's also a white hand stormer. With his huge shields, he'll just hold just as well. Look at this, they've got a, a spare pike unit, just excess. This defense up here is just nasty. <laughs> we should have, we really should have had artillery now. Like, this would have been huge. Have some artillery. Have one, like, bring two pieces of artillery. One to knock down walls, and then another one just to, like, shoot pikes when, it gets, when they get too close, like this. And, uh, yeah, we do a lot of damage. I mean, we are taking out this pike unit quite nicely. Now we've lost, it's lost the 30 men now. Uh, no, more than 30, lost 50 men. But yeah, this is all we're waiting on. This is kind of all it became now. After this, like, constant fighting over here uh, for quite a while, it then becomes a sort of, a again, sort of, like, becomes a standoff. Just who's going to make the first move. And look, you can see here, the Oryx are saying, they decide to send out a, uh, a peace offering almost. Let's k kill off one of the pike units. And then uh, allow us to kill one of these pike units. So we're like, right, we'll take the uh, we'll take the the offer. And uh, yeah, here we go. The cavalry is just going to do a nasty charge in here. And this poor pike unit then gets murdered. And these equestrians will do all the work, all the work. They'll mop, mop these uh, kills up nice and easily. Yeah, we were getting very frustrated at this point. 
that we just couldn't break through this. And I mean, really, the cavalry should just carry on. I think it is going to. It's going to be a sneaky little cavalry. It's going to charge on into the Wyand Stormers. This is a great idea. We really need to get some infantry support up here. And you can see I am setting up some uh, Lazgar and swords. They're going to help. And here we go. The cavalry's coming. There's archers in here as well. I'm seeing mortal rabble, like, right in the front lines. I mean, that charge was okay, but, I mean, it wasn't great. We'll put it like that. I feel like the White Storms just kind of went, okay, you just appeared. You just did your thing. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, one of the Urukai infantry is losing, but uh, the White Stormers are just like, yeah, that's fine. We can take this. And the cavalry is uh, falling back now because it realizes what's happening. And a massive infantry of Las Galan Blades coming up. I'm going to heavily try and flank here. I'm going to send one into the center. One should really go around this flank. Uh, but I'm sending both in the side. Jeez. And there you go. You can see wavering Urukai infantry. And we just... I'm not even... Like, I did not even pull through. But this they just sort of phased through these Las Galan Blades. I'm not even sure how this happened. It sort of phased through. And more pikes coming up. Just... So frustrating. You're just like, oh no, not again. And yeah, look at this. Finally, the Wyand Storm is wavering, uh, like losing decisively. And these Urukai infantry. And uh, really, we need to send up more. We need to send up more. We need to just make a big old push. But not too big that they can just blob shoot us. But we are nearly through this first line here. This infantry here is uh, just decisively winning. And yeah, we can see, you can see what we're trying here. There's like a little bit of a flat area here. We're trying to flank around. But I mean, the uh, archers are not going to give us any rest. They are shooting. Like these crossbows here are just like, yep, you try it. You actually try it and we will kill you. But really, we need to get cavalry behind now. So they can come run, run down these stuff. But you can see the line over there. The crossbows are just, I mean, they don't have a great angle now. But anything that like came around this little side here, they shot to death. They shot to death. And, uh, yeah, now the battle is turned in favor of the uh, Urukai because you can see losing decisively just because this pike unit's arrived. It was the story of this battle. And I'm going to try on this flank now. I'm going to try and sneak around with the uh, archers. This side's definitely not as viable as the other side. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you could definitely get a couple of units around that flank, and then you could, I mean, certainly threaten all of this. They've got, but they've still got Berserkers ready. They've still got a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of coming down to absolutely nothing. I mean, you've got a crossbow unit over here. This is going to just shoot anything that gets uh, too close. I think they're shooting archers with ammo still. I think they're shooting these Linden archers down here. I mean, we've still got a massive cavalry. We've got all this infantry still as well. This is a lot of infantry. So, I mean, there's still hope. There is still hope. I'm setting a tiny unit of uh, Hall Guardians around. They're going to try the same job. Uh, but, I mean, I th there's something happens to them. I think they're about to get evaporated by crossbows. Yeah. Here he goes, the first few shots. And, yeah, this unit is about to get evaporated. They did get around. Look at that. They're like, yes, we did it. And then they charge into the side. And uh, I don't think they're going to last long. The pikes are pushing forward, though. They are becoming very, very uh, vulnerable to archers, put it like that. And I see like this unit gets through, and then it's like, oh, send up another unit. Send up. So these Noldorian swords are going to try it now. They're going to try the run, and it's not going to happen for them. We've got more Noldorian swords that are going to try coming up, because this one's going to break first. And I can hear more units coming down. We've got berserkers coming down, though. Look at this. As soon as he sees what's happening, really, we should have sent more troops up with this first Hall Guardian. They could have then really uh, taken advantage. But now the whole, like, the area's broken off. But we can certainly try and break through these. Noldorian swords have a chance. They could probably break through these Berserkers. These Hall Guardians are getting cut down now. They're like, no! We just tried something sneaky and you're punishing us. This is what happens when you're a sneaky boy and in come the... Uh, the Noldorian swords, they're going to try and do the same thing. They didn't really try and get around the far extent of this flank. They're trying to break through, like, this just area here. But yeah, we are literally just throwing men at a brick wall. It is a solid, solid defense here. I mean, look how many sheer archers they have left. These crossbows, archers, pikes. It is 
really, really good defence. And, I mean, the difference is now 300 men. Uh, we still have a lot of reserves back here. I could really do... I mean, it's really 300 men, but it's more like 200 men. Because this last Garland Blade over here is stuck. And it can't do anything. Oh, I wish we had it. I wish we had that unit. One more unit. All we needed. And these pikes, I mean, they just won't die. And after this, there's still one more to come. We're just like, oh god, just stop. And I mean, they still got sappers as well. They've got sneaky little units they can use themselves. And we come into the last ten minutes, and uh, it doesn't look like anything's going to change right now. It does not look like anything's going to change. Lords of the Last Garland being set in. They're literally just being thrown. I'm like trying to form column formation. I'm trying to get them to go in here. I mean, these berserkers are losing. I mean, so are the Last Garland uh, blades and like Noldorian swords. So, I mean, it is war. No one wins in this. Like, in this decide, like, close to battle, no one wins. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's just brutal to watch. I'm just watching his elves as she impale themselves onto pikes over here. It's just like Helm's Deep all over again. You could really, like I said, do with someone like Aragorn just to knock aside a pike and then uh, he's inside the pike line. And he can cut down as many people. I mean, imagine if we had Aragorn right now or just like any of the heroes. We might have a chance, but there you go, a mass route going on there. Well, the archers is causing so much damage. They could really do with firing like fire arrows, and they do a lot of morale damage. But, uh, I mean, we still got a lot of, like, beating up units. And now we've got, like, the, the main core of uh, units coming. We've got, like, Nordorian swords. We've got uh, some spears. They're going to try and break through, but, I mean, it is coming down to basically nothing left. Nothing left on either side. And now Isengard has the uh, main advantage, ever so slightly. And uh, no surprise, really. Like these, uh, I mean, it's such a good defense. It's such a good defense. And really, we could do a flanking round here, still. And yeah, the archers just open fire, crossbows open fire. Any units that, like get into this sort of area over here where the uh, reserve reserves are forming up. Yeah, they just got focused down. So I was just like, just send them in. Just send them in. Better to have them here and risk them shooting their own uh, men. I mean, the, the pikes here have actually killed everything in front of them. There's literally nothing left. And here come the Linden troops. The last hope, really. This is all that we have like, like that's fresh. That's got a chance of breaking through. And, oh god, it's going to be... It's going to be close. I mean, there's a tiny line of white hand storms as well, still holding this line. But uh, really, now looking back and seeing what like the pain that we go through here, look, they're trying to just pull through, which is a little bit cheesy. Uh, but at this point, we were just like, we've got to try something. We've got to might have to just cheat to try and get through. And you can see why uh, these Mordor bow rabble coming down. The uh, I mean, the Noldor and Swiss on this side did okay, and I mean, they're losing decisively instantly. Though. This is the problem. Pulling through is all well and good, but you're going to just lose so many men and. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen. And, um, yeah, we've now got Lords of Las Garlan trying to do, just join around the flank. And, I mean, there's got sappers coming up now. These sappers are in here. Are they going to get any kills? Be interesting to see. I think my Lords of Las Garlan, though, Lint, uh, are instantly going to beeline straight for these sappers. I think that was the plan. I did. I was just like, right, we can't have these sappers in here doing damage. It's just not allowed. I mean... All these units here, this is a fresh white hand uh, uh, stormers basically, and it's holding the line. And they still have their general under the pike. It's just not looking good. It's not looking good. Yeah, there you go. My uh, Lords of Last Garland instantly beeline for those, uh, for their white hand sappers. And uh, I was just like, right, we're killing them. I'm not, I know he wants to like blow them up and it looked look really cool, but I'm not allowing it. It's not happening. I'm just going to deny 
them having their explosive fun with their minds on their back. I mean, they should eventually die. They're almost like a berserker unit themselves because they have got like... Oh, they, oh yeah, there you go. They, they exploded. Oh my gosh. They exploded. Uh, yeah, they killed a lot of... I wouldn't say they killed a lot of Mordor Rabble, actually. Uh, they killed some Linden stuff. They killed quite a few Lords Last Garland. But yeah, them exploding didn't really help because now it's opened this flank up. My Lords Last Garland can get around. I mean, at this, at this point, I was just like, I'm just going to go for these archers. These archers are causing so much pain. And I was like, send in anything. I've got another like Last Garland blade here with fairly fresh. I was like, send in everything. The cav needs to go in, get around this flank. If you can get the cavern, you can take out this. You can see more pikes coming up, more YN stormers. Oh, this is it. Everything's been committed by Isengard. And more Last Garland blades coming in. We need to flank round, get in behind this lot. No, it's too early. It's too early. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, it's close. But these Lords of Last Garland here are already losing as well. It's just berserkers coming in. And now my Last Garland blades are in here. I mean, they're just going to try and hold back the storm. And the cav's gone in. I mean, it's not gone in the right way. It's going to just charge straight into pikes. And I'm setting up everything now. Everything's going. These Hell Guardians have got Last Garland Blades. All my infantry, this it. It's going. In a last ditch, I'm going to try and sweep around here. And just allow, like... I'm just trying to flank around and overwhelm this. So if I can do that, there's hope. But it's going to be blooming close. These, I mean, but you can see here, I'm just now getting flanked. The Berserkers are going to try and... I think they're going to try and deny me flanking around here. Very smart. Yeah, there they go. They're back in the choke point. And they're just like, right, charge, men. We've got to just charge through. Really, we need the, the cab. The cab need... I think my uh, ally just decided, he's like, let's just see what happens if we charge the cab in there. And I knew we both knew what was going to happen. It was going to be death. And you can see they're going to stretch the other pike unit across here. So now it, this, this whole area is now cut off. And it's over. That's kind of it. There's no way we're going to break through these pikes. And with four minutes left, it's just kind of coming down to last stuff. So I'm going to fast forward as uh, you just watch as devastation happens, really. It's just... There's, there's just nothing we can do now. The cab's just in here. It's just trying to, like, break through. It's just not going to. Um, but what else can it do? This pike line's now just solidly across here. The only hope was this left flank. And, uh, yep, yeah, my last Garland Blade's broken the rear guard. The, the general just mopped them up. And, uh, well, what else is there we can do? Again, such reckless hate. And I think, uh, I think at this point, I don't know what happens. I think my general's about to go in. Yeah, my general's about to go in. Or I think he's... I don't know what's happened. Don't know, it said general dead somewhere, I thought, but I don't think so. Don't think anyone's, but yeah, here at this point, look, they're falling back, so we're like, charge, catch as many of them as possible, send the cab back in, everything back in. They fell back, I don't know why they fell back, because, oh yeah, they fell back because we want to look at the sheer amount of bodies here. And, uh, I mean, it's a pretty useful for the replay, we look at the sheer amount of bodies, this is insane. But yeah, we took advantage of them, just like, ha, ah, we're just going to charge in and just try and do some damage. We were sneaky elves at this point, we were sneaky deceptive elves, and it's, uh, we, this Wyan Stormer is losing decisively. After getting charged. But I mean, there's still plenty of troops. And there you go. My general died. He de I think he got focused on my archers trying to charge up here. Uh, but yeah. They've now got nearly three times the amount of men that we do. And the elves are... Uh, the elves are not going to win today. Uh, people always say, oh, the elves are really, really, um, really, really strong. But I think certainly, like, with bad plays. Like, I think we did some bad plays in this one. Like, didn't attack over here. Um, we didn't. Assault when they were like here, we didn't then use the cav get around this little uh, street here, and we could have done a lot of damage to a lot of units that were used then later here. In this choke point, I think we just were a bit slow in some areas, and we should have allowed we should have allowed the uh, pikes to fall back from here a bit longer. But um, yeah, I think the elves are very very beatable. Um, I've beaten them a few times myself. Um, but this was a pretty close one that I thought was also shows off beating the uh, beating the elves. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of coming down to nothing. It's just literally all it is now is the general and, a, and an equestrian unit. So, uh, we'll just fast forward. And I think the uh, Isengard's going to just charge down, attack the shipwright nobles. I mean, they're not going to stand long, I don't think. Especially with pikes here. So, you'll just see in this final, final stand by, uh, Linden. 
But it has been a long and grindy siege. But I mean, I do love a good long and grindy siege sometimes. And I know you guys do as well. And Shipwright Nobles, there you go. They're breaking. They're wavering. I mean, the uh, the cows returned. But I mean, it's literally coming down to mere, mere seconds. It's nothing, nothing special. And uh, yeah, there you go. We'll have a look at a moment at the end results and see who wins this battle. But it is, uh, it was a close one. It was a close one. I mean, it did come down to very little. I think, um, like I said, what I listed off, we could have certainly got their uh, units down, uh, got their men down a lot quicker in, like, numbers. Like, they have 1,200 left. That 1,200 should be a lot lower. But, I mean, that was a good charge there by the cavalry at the end. So they did a lot of damage to those berserkers, but they're just going to charge in here, and they're going to they're gonna mop up those uh, equestrians. And, uh, yeah, here we go. The general's just on his own. He's got a mere 12 men. I don't even think that's 12 there. Really, personally. But here we go. Charging in. And there you go. The general's dead. And this should, unit should just break. Instantly, really. And there we go. The battle is over. A valiant defeat, indeed. For the Woodland Realm. And for the Linden Elves. So I'd just like to thank Cool Breeze and Heads for taking part in that battle. It was an excellent, excellent battle. And, uh, yeah, well done to Cool Breeze on winning a really good, uh, Victory, really, to be honest, is a very good defense, and he did well on this map that I've never really played on before, so it's kind of going in blind, but uh, yeah, it was certainly know what I'd do next time, um, but yeah, so I mean, well, have a look at the end results, so, I mean, my uh, Elven King getting 103 kills, which is okay, but he can definitely get a lot more kills, um, Last Garland Blades, I think the best one getting 164, I think, uh, and then there's like another 153, my uh, Hall Guardians here getting 288, uh, kills him the best one. Most of them getting over 100, nearly most over 150. Um, 209 kills, I think, is the best for my Las Galan archers. And my uh, Lords of Las Galan only getting 180 kills. So, I mean, definitely could have done a bit more improvement on those uh, archer kills, you could think. They, archers for, like, the elves can rack up kills if if done well. And then Heads, who's playing as uh, Linden, his general only gets 7 kills, but he only participated at the end when the battle was lost. Uh, the Noldorian Swords, I think the best one getting 347. There's another one 258. Um, but a lot of them not getting into the hundreds, which is a real shame. Um, his um, his uh, uh, Spears, again, not doing that great. Only getting like 35 kills. But they kind of ran at pikes early on and just kind of got themselves killed. Um, then we've got Noldorian Archers again. He did not get great amount of kills with his Archers in comparison to like, well, me or say, as we look at in a moment, uh, Cool Breeze. Um, but like 128 I think is the best one. His Cav getting 144 the best one. But they were kind of only used to just run down stuff as Cool Breeze was retreating. And then we'll look at Isengard commanded by Cool Breeze. Uh, Wyand Storm is 112 kills uh, for his general. Um, his normal Wyand Stormers wherever I can find them just getting 192 kills. That's actually pretty good. His uh, Uruk Infantry I think the best one getting 160 kills. That's pretty reasonable. His Berserk is getting 207. His Pikes did insanely well. 180, 186, 512. Jeez, they did so well. It was so frustrating to fight them. Like I said, we should have brought a different faction, not both come as elves. And we could have possibly countered them a bit better with like artillery or our own Pikes. Um, and then his Crossbows and Archers just generally did really well. Look how many Archers he brought. So many of different variants. But his Crossbows getting 238. 480 another one so they did really well and sap is only getting three kills but i mean they certainly seem to do a lot more damage watching in the replay but maybe they just didn't get the kills registered but anyway guys if you enjoyed this rise of mortal siege battle uh well leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment and hit the bell as well and uh so you know when the next one's coming out but i hope you guys enjoyed and if you got to the end well done um this was a really really long one it took us two hours and 11 minutes to do but it won't be that long in the replay but until next time, Legionnaires, uh, 